Hi, welcome to Hey Parents, Let's Chat. I am Jess Hunt, and today's chat is going to be about um, teenagers and tattoos and piercings and all of those things that they might want and you as a parent might be struggling with. Um, your teenager might be 16, 17. Um, once they're 18, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. They can just go get it. Um, but you might have a 16 year old or a 17 year old, or frankly, even an 18 year old who is just um, sharing what they want to do with you. And you might not be sure of how to respond to that. Um, and some of you might be like, hey, go for it. Fine by me. And that's totally fine. But for those of you that might be struggling with um, them getting tattoos, maybe you think that they're too young or they're not ready or what if they regret it? And there's all of these very realistic questions and we have to deal with these things as parents. And we want to make sure that we're guiding our kids in the right direction. Um, so that's what today's chat is going to be about. Um, so here is how I have handled it in my family and it worked out beautifully. Um, and so if your um, child, boy or girl, doesn't matter, is wanting a tattoo or a piercing, I mean, there are very traditional ear piercings, like big deal, right? But let's say they want, um, you know, like a nose ring or they want like a lip piercing um, or even something a little bit, um, you know, like a belly button piercing. Um, and you might not be comfortable with that. So if your kid is coming to you with this request, um, just tell them, say, listen, okay, it's your body. Um, if that's what you want to do, then that's great. But here's what my advice would be is um, if you're going to pick out a tattoo, um, then pick it out, but then give it one year. Um, and if in one year you still want that tattoo, then absolutely, because that shows commitment. It shows that's something you're not going to change your mind on. Um, and the reason why I say this is because I have seen um, young people who have tattoo regret and they there's nothing they can do about it. Um, you know, they might not have the money to have it uh, removed and they have these tattoos that are now stuck on their body and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, and the fact is that teenagers, their brains are not completely fully developed until they're 25. So they might be an adult at 18, but they're still impulsive. They're still reacting emotionally. They're not thinking long term. Um, and so for all of these reasons, Frankly, 25, you can say to them, hey, wait till your brain develops and then get one at 25. The likelihood of them listening to that advice is like slim to none. Um, and so what I would do is just say, and I have done this, I would say, listen, sure, go pick out a tattoo. And then in one year, like one year from today. If you still want that tattoo without any changes, then sure, I'll even go with you. I mean, I'd be, that sounds like a really great idea because it shows that you're sure, sincerely ready for it. Um, here's what I will say. Pretend like I'm speaking to my teenager. Um, if you pick a, a tattoo today and that is what you want, great. But if in three months from now you change your mind, that one year time starts over because you clearly didn't want that tattoo you weren't ready for it so the one year time limit is just going to start over again um, and let's say they did pick a tattoo but they want it adjusted or they didn't want it exactly the same then that one year time limit starts over again um, and so I think this is great advice it worked for us I hope it works for you for two reasons. Um, it works because um, it really does cut down on the probability of tattoo regret because anyone that sticks with an idea and commits to it for one year 
is pretty committed to it and they're pretty likely to enjoy it and want it. Um, another reason why this works is because it also like puts that off, you know, until for perhaps in a year from now, they have completely forgotten about it. Um, or, you know, perhaps they're just no longer interested at all, which proves why this works because they've changed their mind. Um, and that's something that you as a parent might even point out to them and be like, hey, remember that time you wanted a tattoo? You really wanted it bad. You begged me, begged me, begged me for it. Um, you were only 17. I said, just give it some time. Wait, pick one out. But you changed your mind. Remember that time? And so that might be just a learning experience that can benefit you to benefit you as you revisit that during conversations where it's pertinent. Um, perhaps they want to do something else that's a little bit, um, you know, you're not really sure if they're committed for it. And you can say, hey, why don't you give us some time to think about it? Remember the tattoo incident? Um, and so it can be to your benefit in this way as well. So that's my advice on teenagers and tattoos. Um, I hope it's been helpful. Um, and the same can apply for piercings. Um, piercings can be a little bit tricky because, um, like, for instance, let's talk about um, belly button piercings. Um, I, there, eh, that's really tricky. I feel like um, that's a little bit, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little bit more conservative, perhaps. I would say no to the belly piercing. Um, because I feel like that just encourages, um, peers, I'm just gonna put this out there, it's encouraging the guys to be looking at her belly and seeing her as, like, this sexy object, and granted, they're teenagers, and they're going to probably be wearing bikinis, or they might wear, you know, um, low shorts or high tank tops and parts of their bellies might be showing in some outfits um and that's one thing but to actually like encourage others to look there oh i don't know i would again say to my daughter take one year and think about it and if that's something that you're still interested in then we'll revisit that in a year from now um or tell them they can do it when they're 18 and then there's nothing you can do about it and they're on their own anyway. <laughs> so good luck with that one. <laughs> so I just wanted to um, share with you, oops, I forgot to turn my phone off. Sorry. Um, I just wanted to share with you what has worked in our family. I hope it works for you and your family. Um, and if you appreciate this advice, um, go ahead and hit subscribe. Um, hopefully you're enjoying our parenting messages and all of these parenting videos. Um, and you can go to heyparentsletschat.com, um, add your comments to the comment sections. Um, as I've said in other videos, heyparentsletschat.com is I'm designing it so that it becomes a resource for parents so that you parents can just go right to heyparentsletschat.com and um, find a video that might be relevant to an issue that you're struggling with or you might need some other opinions on. Um, and then you can go to it and check out some of the comment sections and hopefully um, get some advice that works for you and your family. Um, as I said, the more we share, the more we learn, and the better parents we all become. So thank you for joining us. Um, remember, hit subscribe, like, share with others that might benefit from this video. Um, and thank you for joining us.